to explain that, but it, it's just so me at its core. It's me core. I love her. Hello. I love you so much. How are you today? How are you doing today? Oh my gosh. Do you guys see this face? Is this not the most beautiful, majestic thing you've ever seen in your entire life? He's literally perfect. Aww. So I feel like we as a society just move on from autumn a little bit too fast and I'm not okay with that. I love Christmas as much as the next girl. If we start celebrating Christmas now, we'll, we're going to be over it by the time Christmas comes. So this is autumn continued in November. It literally is still fall. It just now started getting cold where I live. Like I'm going to be romanticizing it all the way through November. We can start Christmas maybe at the end of November, start of December, but for now. We are romanticizing, we are relaxing, and we are autumn girling. Autumn's over when I say it's over, okay? I'm really channeling Nicole Kidman in Practical Magic right now, like the hair, and not only the hair, but just like her vibe in general. And my sister's getting married this weekend, so I'm really going into my full-fledged, like single cool auntie vibe. She doesn't have any kids yet, but like still, you know, like the vibes are brewing. We're just gonna hang out today and do autumn things, autumn continued things, November autumn things. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have been watching me for a while or you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you have definitely seen me rave about Echo Suzy Vintage. If you're ever wondering where my bags are from, nine times out of 10, the answer is Echo Suzy. They have the cutest like academic style faux leather bags and they're just perfect for like school or work or just like everyday use. I'm constantly wearing the Jane Messenger bag. This one is just like my go-to everyday sort of bag. I got the red one and the black one. They're just so cute and they literally go with all of my outfits. So they recently sent me two more bags from their new collection which is very very exciting this briefcase is amazing i absolutely love the academic vibe with the more girly elements added into it and this bag fits so 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 much i can fit my laptop i can fit my camera equipment in here i can fit an entire Sofia Coppola archive in here with room for more. Can you imagine I just like carry this around with me? This bag is the definition of a ludicrously capacious bag and I love it. They also sent me another messenger bag. This one is a lot like the Jane messenger bag but it has a little bit more of an edge to it which I really like. I love the buckle detail and I also really like the silver hardware that it has. It's also pretty spacious as well. I can fit not one but two Barnes & Noble clockbound classics in here. I think Echo Sissy does such a good job at mixing like vintage and retro elements with a more modern aesthetic. These bags are perfect for all of the autumn girlies out there. It just makes for the perfect book bag. And the quality is genuinely so good. I've been wearing Echo Suzy bags for almost two years now and I've never had any problems with like the construction or the hardware or anything like that. So I definitely recommend checking them out and I do have a discount code for you guys. Of course, it is just Rummy5 for 5% off. So definitely take a look. I'll put a link to the website in the description box as well as each individual bag that I have shown here today. Thank you so much to Echo Suzy Vintage for sponsoring today's video. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. I love antique stores because it's kind of like a little museum of like old stuff that you can buy. Also, I've got my coffee in my mug. I really need to get uh, like to-go cups for my coffee and then I just have to like literally use a mug like carry a mug around with me in my car And I spill things a lot. This is from Hobby Lobby if you're wondering Okay, let's go Thank you. 
Hi guys, I'm at the movie theater right now, kind of random, but I'm about to go see the new Sofia Coppola film, Priscilla. I'm so excited. I've been waiting forever to see this and I'm at the movie theater alone and I'm gonna watch this movie alone with confidence. I think the last time I did this was when the new Judy Garland movie came out. I'm gonna do it again because I don't really know anyone that also wants to see this movie, so I'm just gonna watch it by myself. I brought my notebook so that I could take notes during the movie so I can talk about it later on. I am so excited. I think this movie is going to change me in some way. The bangs are, are a little crazy today. Also, I'm at like one of these luxury movie theaters and it's like super bougie and super cute. I'm sorry, Wes, what's your name? Priscilla Boyer. Oh, Captain? I'm literally I'm sorry, the only person in this movie theater right now. Is she? been here the entirety of fall. I don't know how that happened. They're known for like their seasonal products. So I got a couple of things like that and then some other um, just regular groceries. <laughs> we got a bag of arugula. This is the best leafy green you can eat. It's got a little bit of that like natural peppery taste to it and it's so good for you. Got some salmon fillets, sourdough bread, the superior bread obviously some asparagus. This is what I'm most excited for. This is the pumpkin bisque soup. I realize that I much prefer pumpkin flavored things when it's in the form of like something savory, like a soup or like a glaze or something like that. And I love a soup for autumn. I usually make my own, you guys know. We got another can of a uh, pumpkin puree because right over there I have a bunch of ripe bananas, which means it's almost time to make banana bread. I was thinking I could make a pumpkin banana bread. I'm sure there's a recipe for that online somewhere. Of course, I got my dog some treats because I'm a great mom. Pumpkin maple bacon flavored stuffies. Dog treats. They're gonna love this. That's my Sherry Joe's haul. <laughs> starts this is where the story ends. I feel like we're like at a sleepover right now. I want to talk about Priscilla because I took notes. Try to keep it short and sweet because this is not about to turn into a video essay about how much I love Sofia Coppola. Priscilla was so young. I mean I already knew this but seeing that in action like really solidified how insane that was. That out of all the girls he could have chosen he went for this 14 year old that he could shape and mold and like groom into his wife. The lighting in this film was completely magical. I am so inspired by it. There's so many like little things that I've seen in a lot of movies like this that I'm like, oh, I should recreate that like in one of my videos or like this camera angle is like really cool. Like I should try, I should try to do something like that. At one point in the movie, he looks at her and he just says black hair and more eye makeup because he wanted her to dye her hair black and start wearing more eye makeup just like he did which is crazy because you can really tell that like he just wanted her to like be a reflection of him. How did they make Jacob Elordi look that much like Elvis? And how did they make Austin Butler look that much like Elvis? I don't understand because neither of those guys look like Elvis at all but in those movies, both of them, they both, like literally there are some scenes where I'm like, 
is that Elvis? Like, what the heck? Props to the makeup artists. <laughs> they kept putting these like little vintage film reels throughout the movie and I thought those were really cool and it kind of took you back in time a little bit. This is part in the movie and I'm so glad they included this clip, but she was basically about to go into labor so she wakes Elvis up and she's like, like the baby's coming and then Elvis is like calling the car, like he's trying to get everything set up so they could go have the baby and then they just show this like 10 second clip of her putting on false eyelashes to go have a baby which is just insane obviously but I feel like that like little 10 second clip just like shows so much about her character and her relationship with Elvis and the way that she literally always had to be dolled up all the time even when she's literally about to have a baby. They could have easily just like not had that in and then just got straight to the hospital and you see her with the full face of makeup. I also recently acquired the Sofia Coppola archive. I don't know if you heard me talking about it already. But they have all the pictures from Priscilla in here and I'm definitely going to study every square inch of this tonight. That is all I have for today's vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.